Oh, hey there, guys. Thanks for joining us here at Rock Hard Drifts. In today's video, we're talking about picks and attack and just a little bit about strings, that sort of thing, but mainly about picks. guys welcome to rock hard riffs this is the guitar channel for the self-taught that's right we're talking about picks attack just a little bit about strings but mainly picks so let's go over what i've used okay guys the only thing i can really tell you is my opinion what i've used what i do use and why now, this could be for very beginners just so you're uh, hip to this sort of thing but you know intermediate players and up etc you know we all change uh, our tastes sometimes and sometimes we change our picks sometimes we change our strings you know just like sometimes we prefer a different guitar or amp over something you know picks are that way sometimes too now personally these picks this I would use for like an acoustic guitar these are the great big kind of what I consider a great big clumsy pick but uh, I'd leave a lot of that available meaning exposed and I'll show you when we get to the end I just barely used the very tip of these other picks but with this I'd leave a lot of exposed just for a lot of big strumming right and the same with this again I would use that like on an acoustic or if I knew it was doing just nothing but a lot of heavy strumming now back in the 1980s I switched to these type of picks. I had gone through all kinds of picks, teardrops and different kinds, and every time I found a pick that I liked, they stopped making them or I couldn't find them anymore. So I used to order these things by the gross. I've got bags of these picks. <laughs> the, the red and black one here, these are so thin that they're actually curved or curled, if you notice, if you can see that in the picture or not. Now, if you also notice, they come to a very, very fine point, and that's what I like so much about them. Also, these are like a type of a graphite, graphite type of material. They never break. They just kind of wear down. And once that tip wears down, I just get rid of it and take out a new pick. The thing was is that in the days when I used these primarily, I was doing a lot of the super fast hard rock kind of thing and with very specific guitars I didn't switch guitars in those days I was mainly playing my Flying V which had a DiMarzio X2N pickup in it which was super 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 hot I didn't need a big heavy thick pick to use to get that thing uh, singing and whining and flying but when I started getting more experimental I started playing lots of different types of guitars especially when you start switching to single coil or ones with like lower output pickups these just don't quite cut it I had to switch to a thicker pick I noticed it just these just were not doing it so I started using these Eric Johnson picks which were good it's like much thicker I'm getting a much better attack out of these and again I still hold them the same way that I did the uh, much thinner pick where it's just the very tip of it is exposed so again I just wear it down and when I'm done with it I'd get rid of it so the problem with these though these are good picks but they're kind of get slippery I have sweatier hands I guess and uh, things get kind of slippery for me and uh, they'll slip around too much so then I asked the guys over at Sam Ash I said do you guys have a pick just like this but maybe it has more of a grip to it and they said we sure do <laughs> and there it is and you can see the little like embossed checkers on there that really stick this is called the max grip it's the same pick it's a jazz three has the same tip same thickness as that pick right there but it has the little grippers on there and sometimes they're a little too grippy <laughs> but man they it solved the problem immediately these things are really grippy and again it's just one of those things I have to just get more used to because you you know you actually do move your pick around when you're using it depending on what you're doing if you're doing leads or rhythms or, or whatnot so again these are different assortments of picks now the ones I would still use today yeah if I were playing a lot of big heavy strumming acoustic I'd use picks like that but uh, now I use these and again if I were using like EMG pickups or something like that and that's all I was doing something with extremely high output and I'm doing like speed metal or something like that I may tend to still use these uh, but you know these are just more flexible you get more out of it you can play these use these with different types of guitars single coil humbucker p90 what have you 
these just work much better for me. They're still pretty much just as fast, if you want to call it that, as these picks. So again, the strings I use Ernie Ball Super Slinky Nines, just in case you're curious. But uh, that's it about picks, guys. Now you may change from time to time. Try different picks on different guitars and uh, with different amps, etc. Change up your attack, especially for you intermediate players and below. Change up your attack, meaning hit the guitar harder or softer in certain areas. Definitely accentuate things. And how you play will sometimes kind of dictate which kind of pick you'll use. So investigate it. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining us for this video. Just a brief talk about picks and thickness and all that sort of fun. Let us know your opinions in the comments. We'd really appreciate that. And if you're new to our channel, please subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. All right, guys, rock on. We'll see you next video.